Hello grade 9 students! Welcome back to our online class. So, this is the part 4 of the topic solving quadratic equation. I know you are excited for this video, solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Just what I have said from the previous lesson, this part 4 is considered as the easiest way because we have a formula, the quadratic formula. Now, let's start our lesson with the quadratic formula song. This song will help you to memorize the quadratic formula easily. So class, let us all sing! X is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. X is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. X is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. X is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, how was the song? Did you already memorize the quadratic formula? I hope you did. So again, what is the quadratic formula? Very good. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. See? I am still singing it. It's maybe because na LSS ako. <laughs> now, let's solve this quadratic equation x squared plus 4x equals 12 using quadratic formula. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So here, we will transpose positive 12 to the left so it will become negative 12 and the standard form of x squared plus 4x equals 12 is x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0 but if the given quadratic equation is already in standard form you will no longer perform step 1 step 2 identify the values of a b and c Remember that the numerical coefficient of x squared is a, and the numerical coefficient of x is b, and c is the constant. So in this quadratic equation, your a is equal to 1. How about b? Yes, you're right. b is equal to 4. And how about c? Very good. c is equal to negative 12. Step 3. Substitute the values of a, b, and c to the quadratic formula. As you can see, you will just substitute a, b, and c in the formula, and the rest you will just copy. Now, let's start substituting the values of a, b, and c in this formula. So, we have this. Step 4. Solve and simplify. By simplifying this formula, we have x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 48 all over 2. 16 is found by squaring 4 and 48 is found by multiplying this part negative 4 times 1 times negative 12. While the denominator 2 is found by simplifying or multiplying 2 and 1. Given this, let's further simplify by adding 16 and 48. So 16 plus 48 is 64. So we have now x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 64 all over 2. Next, let's get the square root of 64. What is the square root of 64, by the way? You're right. 
square root of 64 is 8. So we have now x equals negative 4 plus or minus 8 all over 2. This time, let's split this equation into x sub 1 equals negative 4 plus 8 all over 2 and x sub 2 equals negative 4 minus 8 all over 2. And to find the values of x, let's simplify this. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. Therefore, x sub 1 is equal to 2. Next, negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12, and negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So, x sub 2 is equal to negative 6. Another example, let's solve 3x squared plus 2 equals negative 7x. Before we start solving it, step 1, let's rewrite it first in standard form. So, what is the standard form of this equation? Wow, you got it! Standard form is 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 0. So, we just transpose negative 7 to the left. That's why we have 7x. Step 2, what are the values of a, b, and c? Yes, a is 3. B is 7 and C is 2. Step 3. Substitute the values of A, B, and C to the quadratic formula. So, we substitute B by 7, A by 3, and C by 2. And the rest, let's just copy. Step 4. Solve and simplify. Let's get first the square of 7. So, 7 squared or 7 times 7 is 49. Next, let's multiply negative 4, 3, and 2. So, the product is negative 24. And the denominator 6 is found by multiplying 2 and 3. Given this, let's simplify the numbers inside the square root symbol. So, 49 minus 24 is 25. That's why we have a square root of 25. But square root of 25 is a perfect square. So, we can still simplify square root of 25. And square root of 25 is equal to positive negative 5. Now, let's split this equation into two equations. x sub 1 equals negative 7 plus 5 all over 6. And x sub 2 equals negative 7 minus 5 all over 6. To find the values of x, let's simplify negative 7 plus 5 over 6. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. And negative 2 divided by 6 is negative 1 third. So the first value of x is negative 1 third. Next, Negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. And negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. So the second value of x is negative 2. Therefore, the solutions or roots of these quadratic equations are negative 1 third and negative 2. So, how did you find it, class? Is it easy for you to solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula? I hope you find it easy. By the way, class, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell all before you leave in this online class. Thank you for watching and goodbye.